If you think this is a lot of yerba to drink, well guess what? You don't have to use this much. That's right, you can actually use as little as you want. For example, I have this bag of Del Salvador here that has a little bit left, but it's nowhere near enough for me to make a good mate. However, I can still drink it the traditional way while maintaining a mountain. There's a small difference in how you prepare it though, so watch closely. But a quick disclaimer, this is only for fine yerbas like this one. If the leaves are large, you can just dump it in your gourd with your straw, pour the water on one side, and get the same result. Now when using less yerba, instead of shaking it upside down, we're going to take our bombilla and push all the yerba to one side. Once it's set, from here everything's the same. Soak the yerba for a few minutes in cold or hot water, insert your bombilla, and that's it. When pouring, just be careful not to go higher than the mountain as the same principles still apply. If you flood and collapse the mountain, the mate won't last as long, the flavor can be too bitter, and your bombilla is more likely to end up clogging. Now if you don't prefer to make it this way, you can always use a tea strainer, French press, or whatever else works. But the best way to go about this is by getting a smaller gourd for you to make a proper mate.